Hey, what's up guys? It's Brooke. Uh, today's vlog, I feel like this is gonna be a really short one too. I know, I know, the f like last couple have been pretty short, but just stick with me, I haven't been too busy lately. But today, usually on Sundays, I babysit for my aunt, um, and I watch my little cousin Isaiah and sometimes my little cousin Emery. And sometimes I'll even watch my cousin Aubrey and Skye and Marlena and like, they're, they're a big family, but usually I watch the two youngest. But today, I got a message saying that they were sick, so I don't have to babysit today. But usually, I'll watch them for four hours on Sundays, and then that's how I start, like, my Sunday mornings. But since I didn't have to babysit today, I have not been using this day. Like, productive. I have not been productive at all. I have been watching Disney Plus shows that I, like, watched when I was younger. And then I've been watching the series You, and I've been watching the first season over again just because, you know, it's been so long since I've watched it and I'm already on episode six. Okay, let's talk about our national days of today. Okay, today is National Bird Day, Keto Day, Screenwriters Day, and Whipped Cream Day. So I think the national day I'm gonna celebrate today is gonna be Bird Day, and we're just gonna talk about birds, in a sense. This sounds lame, but like, just hear me out. So when I was younger, my sister and I, we had two pet parakeets. We got these, I don't, I would like to say maybe when I was like 12, or like 11, but those are like the only pet birds that I've ever had. For some reason, my mom has always told me like, Brooke, I don't care if you bring home fish, lizards, anything like that, if it's kept in like a tank, you know, the only things I do not want to see you bring home as a pet is snakes and birds. And those are like the two things that are not allowed. My mom doesn't want me bringing snakes home because my whole family's afraid of snakes. Growing up, I think she had to like clean this one lady's house when she was like a teenager for like a teenage job and they had a pet bird and it like drove her nuts how like they were so messy i don't know if i would ever like want to have a pet bird i don't know i know at one point i was really really looking into getting one it was probably two years ago i was looking into green cheek conyers and i mean i was this close from getting one like i was calling pet shops asking for prices which birds are stupid expensive it's crazy but i think if i ever did get a bird i wouldn't want one that like squealed all the time i think i would like want it to fly around my house but i don't know because like i wouldn't want random bird poop everywhere but then i'd feel bad if it's always in a cage but like logan paul's bird i don't even know if he still has it like i don't keep up with him but i remember a couple years ago he had a sun conure and it was so dope i don't know i like birds though but like they're just an animal that I don't know if I'd ever want to have a pet one. Um, if you guys want, I do have some photos on my photography pages. Page? Not pages. I have some photos that I posted in the past of birds. If you want to check those out for National Bird Day. I'll probably, I'll probably post them on my story. I don't know, but my photography page is at Focus In. You can see that. I'm thinking about maybe like taking like a walk around the block today. Like and trying to capture some pictures of birds. I might do that. Let's go, why not, let's go. Tell the vlog what's happening. I have my first loose tooth. Oh, let's see it. It's so like a wiggle like a hey. Oh, can you wiggle it? It's only loose Wow. Oh my gosh, my hair looks like a mess. <laughs> but we are so gonna nice. take some photos of birds. We're going on like a little walk. And our goal is just to find one bird. It might be hard because it's getting colder out. Yeah, but just find one bird and you know, take a photo yeah, of it. Me and Kenzie go on bike rides or all the way around. You do? Yeah, we're taping dog. you, you know. I'll just tape Kenzie instead. Okay, if you listen really, really quietly, we hear a bird back here. It sounds like, like a bird that's hurt or something. Like it just keeps going. I don't know. It sounds like it's way down there. I have no idea. Should we go or should we just keep walking? What do you guys want to do? Let's go. Go down there? I don't know what you know to do. I don't care. Well, but then there's like thorn bushes and stuff we got to get past. All right, let's keep walking. Because I think that'd be a pain to go all the way down there. Yeah. So it just started snowing on our walk. <laughs> like, you've got to be kidding me. There's snow coming down. Yeah, it's white. It kind of looks like the snow. Just like, look at this. Right? Look at this. Go, go, go! Go, 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 go! <laughs> Whoa, what does it look like? 
she yeah. found a shell out of the water. <laughs> nuh uh. <laughs> Where'd you find it? Sand. It is so cold that we're walking backwards. Are you walking backwards, Regan? Yeah, we're all walking backwards. What are we and we thinking? haven't found any birds yet. Yeah, this like that's like the bummer. He's like, where are all the birds at? Seriously. They're all in the south. Go, 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 go. I'm such a bad influence. Hold on tight. Okay. You holding on tight? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bruh, no. <laughs> One. <laughs> Takes out my energy. If you can touch this branch right up here, we can stay here for an hour. Okay. But only you, not not Kenzie. There's no way she's gonna make it. Aw, that means we have to go home! So we were just walking and Reagan pointed out a bird that she found. A flamingo. Over there, can't really see it, but there's a flamingo. So I'm gonna get a shot of this and call it good. See, this is what she was talking about. And she's trying to convince me to make this our workout for the night. <laughs> no way, Jose, we still got workout. Yeah, we do a workout like every day. So shout out to Kenzie, she found a bird's nest. Heck yeah. What I'm thinking for National Birds Day is we eat like birds. So, I'm gonna eat something and chew it up and spit it into like Reagan's mouth. No, that's so gross. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that'd be so gross. That'd be super gross. What are you doing? So those were my little cousins that I usually babysit on Sundays. And they called me because Isaiah, actually he thought it was my birthday for some reason, so. He was telling me happy birthday. So Kenzie and I just did our workout for the day. And it was hands down my favorite workout that I've done so far in these five days. There's especially, there's this part called inchworms where you basically like do like a stretch where you're on like your hands and you have to like inch your way up. You're, I don't know how to explain it, but it was, it felt it's so incredible. good. Man, okay, so I am home from Crossroads now. A few hours have passed. And I'm gonna tell you guys something. This is a really weird angle, but just stick with me. Since I cut beef like out of my diet, tonight my family had tacos and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm probably gonna have to like make a sandwich or something. But my mom came in clutch and she like made me like special chicken to put in mine. And that just means so much to me. I mean, it's like literally all about the littlest things. Like the littlest things mean the world to me and I cannot stress that enough. So yeah, tonight, I don't know, I'm kind of in this mood where I'm just really grateful for like everything I have in my life and like all of my friends and family and I, like everyone that supports me and like the fact that I can have this YouTube channel and like people don't really judge me for it or like make fun of me or like I'm just so grateful, you know, for so many things. So tonight I'm, this is not the question of the day, but like just think about something that you're grateful for. like. Whenever I'm really, really, really upset about something, I try to find the light inside the situation. And that's what I just want you guys to do too, because it makes life so much better. It's like honestly kind of on my bucket list to like do like a TED talk on that whole subject. I could just go on and on about the ways that you could live the most fulfilling life, like in my opinion. But yeah, let's do um the question of the day. Okay, tonight's question of the day is... What is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is hands down Carabos. That has been my favorite restaurant for like the longest time and I don't think I'm ever gonna find one that like tops that for me. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. And if you guys did enjoy this video, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up because it'll make me smile. I'll see you guys tomorrow.